wow, that meringue. I don't know if you guys can hear that crunch, but I got a good crunch noise over here. Hi, and welcome back to All Baking Bootcamp. I'm your host, Mia, nutritionist, chef, and founder of Rasa. Today, we are going to be making a lemon meringue pie. Of course, All Baking Bootcamp style, but today we're really sticking to the classic recipe, but we're using a gluten-free crust, and then we are going to be just using a lot less sugar overall. All right, so there are three components to a lemon meringue pie. There's the crust, the lemon curd, and the meringue. So we're gonna make the crust first, and then we're gonna par bake that. So we're gonna bake it for about 10 to 12 minutes while we're making our lemon curd and the meringue. And then we're going to layer the lemon curd and the meringue onto the crust and throw it all back in the oven again for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll be done. So, all right, for our gluten-free pie crust, we've got almond flour, a little bit of coconut sugar, an egg, and ghee. So I'm just gonna mix the almond flour in here with the coconut sugar, a little whisk. Okay, so I'm gonna crack this egg into this bowl. Get the ghee in there. You could use coconut oil instead of ghee if, if ghee's not your thing, but I'm just gonna whisk these two together, dump our egg and ghee mixture straight in with our almond flour and coconut sugar. All right, I'm just gonna get my hands in here, but I like using almond flour for this crust. Traditionally, some people will do a graham cracker crust with a uh, with a lemon meringue pie, and I feel like this almond flour gives me a little bit of that graham cracker feel, like the crumbliness of it. Okay, this looks good. I'm just gonna mound the pie crust into the center of this parchment sheet. All right, so I've got our pie crust right here in the center. I'm gonna put another piece of parchment on top, and I'm just gonna roll this out. This looks perfect. So this is the part that always gives me a little bit of a panic attack. So we're gonna have to transfer the pie dough into the pie plate. So, all right. I always freak out about this, but you really don't have to because you can just like patch it in where it needs to be patched in and it's gonna need to be patched in. So, let's give it a flip. That was actually a pretty good one. Okay, so we can just fill it in wherever it needs to be filled in. And we've got all this extra dough here to kind of get in to the spots where there are any cracks or if you're seeing the actual pie plate. And as I mentioned, we're gonna throw this in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes while we're creating our lemon curd and our meringue. So I've already got the oven set to 350 degrees. Okay, this is looking pretty good to me. All right, now that we have our crust in the oven, we're gonna make the lemon curd. So we have a few components here. The first and most important part of the lemon curd are the eggs. We're going to use five egg yolks for the curd and then we're gonna reserve the whites for the meringue. Okay, so I'm gonna set our egg whites over and I am going to grab our lemons. I know I said that the eggs were the most important part of this, the egg yolks, but maybe it's the lemon. So I'm gonna zest one lemon, which is about a tablespoon of lemon zest. All right, so now we've got the lemon juice and we've got a third of a cup of honey and a little bit of sea salt and one third of a cup of cornstarch, which is gonna help thicken our lemon curd. 
Now we've done the double boiler thing many times before here in All Baking Boot Camp. So I'm just gonna get this water boiling hot, bring it down to a simmer, and then I'm gonna whisk this mixture continuously for, you know, it could take five to 10 minutes until it starts to thicken and it becomes like an opaque yellow color. All right, so I have been whisking this vigorously for long enough that my arm is starting to hurt, but you wanna make sure that you continue to whisk this so that the egg doesn't curdle, so you don't have lumps, and so that it cooks really evenly. But right now, as you can see, it's got more of an opaque yellow color, and when you run your whisk through it, it leaves like a track, which means that it's getting nice and thick. I'm gonna take this off the heat, and I'm gonna let cool, let it cool while I'm making the meringue. If I were just making a lemon curd, I would put some plastic wrap on top of this to sit on top of the, uh, you know, on the top layer of the lemon curd. But since we're gonna be putting this in the pie, I'm just gonna give it a really good stir before we do that. We've got our curd cooling and we're just quickly gonna whip up this meringue. So we've got the five egg whites that are left over from our egg yolks. Just put that into our stand mixer. And then we've got a tablespoon of, we're just using good old powdered sugar here today. It just works the best with meringues and we're not using that much, so. All right. And we are just going to whip this on high until it forms stiff peaks. So you know when the meringue is ready, when it's got stiff peaks and it's like shiny. You can see the egg's got like a really nice sheen to it. So this is done. So we're just gonna grab our crust, which we've already baked, and assemble our pie. So our crust has baked and cooled. I'm just gonna give our lemon curd one last whisk. So we're gonna start, of course, with the layer of the lemon. That looks so good. I wish you guys could smell this. And then we're gonna top it with our meringue. So I've kept our oven at 350. And we're gonna bake this, wow. We're gonna bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes. Start checking it around 12 minutes just to make sure that it's not getting too brown on the peaks of the meringue. And then when it looks nice and golden throughout, you can take it out. Every oven's different, so I always think it's better to check more often than not. All right, I'm gonna stick this in the oven, like I said. 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll be ready to try it. All right, so our pie is out of the oven. It's looking absolutely beautiful, if I don't say so myself. And now uh, let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna cut a little piece. Wow, that meringue. I don't know if you guys can hear that crunch, but I got a good crunch noise over here. Okay, so you can see all of the layers here. We've got the crust, the lemon curd, and the meringue. Let's give it a try. Super lemony with a nice fluffy meringue topping. So good, this is perfect for summer and I can't wait to see how your lemon meringue pies turn out. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of All Baking Boot Camp. Remember the recipes written in the description below. Let us know how your pies turn out and if you have any questions and we'll see you next time.